Hey, what's up guys? Just want to do a quick video today about enabling DLSS 4 using a workaround in Space Marine 2. It's not currently officially implemented into the game, but you can enable it using the DLSS override feature. NVIDIA graphics cards all the way down to the 20 series are able to do this and it offers a huge visual uplift compared to DLSS 3 which is in the game right now. We're going to go over some comparisons between DLSS 3, the latest version in the game, and DLSS 4 and then I'm going to show you how to enable it. Here's DLSS 3 and if you look at the tank turret you can kind of notice some artifacting and then in this DLSS 4 clip, you should be able to see the whole image is a lot more clear and the overall quality is just a huge step up. And so what we're going to see is another clip of DLSS 3 here. Just kind of take a look around and then it should be a lot more in this DLSS 4 quality clip. And in this clip, we've got DLSS 3 performance versus DLSS 4 performance. So here's 3. So just a lot of blurriness in the performance mode with 3. And then here's 4 in the performance mode. And you'll notice it's a lot more clear, especially if you look right at the Space Marine or the trees on the side of the image as he's kind of moving through the air. So here's a little article somebody put on Reddit of someone comparing DLSS 4 performance to DLSS 3 quality. And essentially what they're saying is DLSS 4 performance looks better than 3 quality. So having said that, you can get a ton of free performance with uh, still having a visual uplift if you enable DLSS 4 performance mode. And so you're going to get a decent amount more FPS while the game is still looking better than it was with DLSS 3. So it's definitely worth it to enable this. So we'll go into next how you can enable the feature. And real quick before we get into how to enable it, essentially how you can check if it's working. If you look in the bottom left hand corner of my screen right now, you'll see where it says render preset K. Right now K and J are the ones that are currently working with the LSS4 and I'll show you that in the NVIDIA app. Uh, how I got it to show that on the screen was a mod that I downloaded from Nexus Mods, which I'll put up a little screenshot of the exact mod right on the screen here. All right, so the way that you can enable DLSS 4 in your Space Marine 2 game on PC is first you need to have the NVIDIA app. So if you don't have it, just go to Google, type in NVIDIA app, and then it'll be the first one. So go ahead and download it. And then once you have it downloaded, make sure you have your drivers updated, which you can do here. Just go to drivers and then it'll say update if you need to. So go ahead and click that. And then once you've got that all done, you're going to go over to the graphics tab here. And when you first download the app, uh, your games may not be in here. So you may need to add a program or add, add a scan location. When you go to add a program, if you're not sure where your Warhammer game exactly is on your PC, the easiest way to find it is if you go to Steam. You can right click your Warhammer game, you can go manage, and then you can go browse local files. And if you do that, it'll bring up a window where it's going to take you to the exact place where it's currently installed. So this is my path, and this will probably be what it is for a lot of you, except X might be, you know, C probably or D. Um, so once you found the exact folder, it's literally just the one that says application. So just go ahead and click that. I think you may need to add a separate entry to get it working on the test server as well, but it will work on the test server. I have uh, used it on the test server. So if it doesn't seem to be working, make sure you add another one in this the NVIDIA app for the test server as well. 
So once you have the Warhammer game in your NVIDIA app, what you're going to do is, first of all, before you do anything here, make sure you have some form of DLSS enabled in your Warhammer game right now. So if you don't, go in your game, open it up, go to the settings, and then for DLSS, put it on whatever, quality, balance, performance. And so once you've got that done, come back to the app and then you're going to come to DLSS override model presets here. And so it'll initially be on this one, switch it to this one, use different settings for each. And then these will be grayed out because it's not available in the game, but you can change this one, which is the one we need anyway. So it's going to have a bunch of presets available, but the only two that are compatible with DLSS 4 are J and K. So K is the latest one with the most current updates, and I believe it's better than J, so I'm just leaving it on K. So once you have K, just hit apply, and then all you have to do is open your game after that, and you should notice a huge jump in visual quality. And then if you want to switch between DLSS for performance, balanced or quality all you need to do is just switch it in the game like you normally would so just pick whichever one that works best for whatever pc setup you have and whatever visual quality you like most and then if you want to confirm that it's working that's when you would use the enable show dlss indicator on screen mod and once you've got this downloaded all you do is extract it and then install it and then next time you open your game you'll notice in the bottom left hand corner it'll have like these words here and it'll even show you what render preset you're currently using so it sh if everything worked it should say k if you guys found this video useful drop a like on it for me and if you've been enjoying the content consider subscribing it really helps the channel thanks for watching